Yo, check it out, bro. It's your boy Jay, JTV. I'm about to do a comparison of the Retro 12s, the flu games. I did a review about the shoes. Um, I got them from a fake site, or not a fake site, but a low grade site. Promo shoes, I kind of roasted them, but you know, what else am I supposed to do when I see shoes like that? So, here's a comparison of the real joints from, I got them from Shoe Palace, Concord Mall, for my nigga Mike. Get at him, feel me? But here's a comparison that I got. Go ahead and just hold it for this. All right, you could uh, see the size difference. Probably gave me a small box, medium box for a size 10 or 9.5 or something. So that's the first issue I have. Second issue was the height of the box. Once again, you know, just a phony type deal. Now, came to the conclusion that they were real. They were just a low B grade shoe. That's the only reason that I have them preserved in plastic. And here we go. Let's get to the review. I already put these in plastic as well because that's what I do with my shit, man. I keep my shit fresh. Some of y'all don't know about it, but it's the way to do it. I'm telling you. I mean, let me get them out of this plastics. If you guys are wondering, these are the two and a half gallon hefty bags from Safeway. Get them at any Safeway nationwide. I highly recommend them for everybody that collects shoes. It will keep your shoes fresh. If you got fives or any 60 pluses, it will keep your bottom icy. That's a good one, something for y'all to look at real quick. <coughs> the good pair. Alright. Now, I rocked these a couple times, so whatever. But I mean, we get in here. The tongue is still kind of flimsy, but my sides are dumbass stiff. Feel me? And let me tell you, my whole my whole room right now is smelling funky, like that Jordan smell. You know these. Mm, everybody knows that Jordan smell. All right. Well, let me start doing the side by side comparison. We all remember this. You know, we all remember that from the other video. And I mean, you could just—it's instant. Look at that. That's how it's supposed to look. I knew it was supposed to look like that before I even got them. You feel me? If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about that shit. How thick the uh, <coughs> the goosebump leather is. You know what I'm saying? That shit is thick. Tell it thick. It looks like a reptile. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't mess up when I push on it. It's thick leather. It's nice. It's great. You know what I'm saying? Say, I don't know if you guys can see the streaks in the uh, in the camera, but I can see all the brush marks on the carbon fiber shank. And uh, there's that number right there. There's that number right there. It's not much smaller, but that's what the original, the one is supposed to look like. And I mean, you can tell that's small, bro. That's hella small. I mean, look, bro. So that was my one point I had. Let's see. From the front of the shoe, that's pretty much all I can tell. And then I did notice that, uh, the letters see I mean that's a nice long seven that's not 
difference is about an eighth of an inch on all the numbers the 38 even the eights you feel me um <clears throat> there's a lot of controversy on these shoes on my um, last video some people thought they were real other people thought they were fake um, ultimate conclusion is I really don't know I'm gonna look at them as real because uh, of the brush marks on the carbon fiber shank on the fakes that I thought were fakes and it's got the brush marks man and I don't think that uh you know a fake one would have brush marks on the bottom of the carbon fiber they look good you feel me a little dirty but I did get my fresh pair and everybody knows that it came with the retro card let me grab that real quick but I mean I just wanted to talk to y'all because you know I really ain't the one to be roasting websites and talking hella shit on people but when you get a product like that that's just you know what I'm saying just bogus just garbage garbage product man you know what I'm saying I feel like people should know especially someone that collect shoes and you're wondering why I pay two hundred dollars for shoes that you got you know for 150 I got them two months early you feel me that's just how it goes when you want shit early you got to pay more but you know I wanted to do a review side by side review of the flu game 12s and that's what I did that's my video JTV Jordans um, subscribe rate get at me Alright.